Hello everybody, it is Mr. The Epic Ninja here. I'm back with another video. This time we are looking at a new feature which is naturally occurring in the world that got added in the 1.3.1 update and that is geyser traps which you can see on the left here. There are three geyser traps at the bottom and you can find these naturally in your world and when you step on the pressure plate a fiery flame shoots up into the sky and it goes through blocks as well. So I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. So these traps can be found underground at around lava level just before hell I guess. The deeper you go before hell the more likely you will be able to find them. I had to dig pretty deep before I found those. Those were my first ones that I found. And yeah as you can see the background changed. So it, it, it was pretty far down. However the difference between these traps is you can actually pick them up and use them for yourself. They don't get destroyed when you try to pickaxe them. So I had a little play around with these traps and of course you can wire them up. Uh, you can place them on roofs, you can place them on floors, they can pass through blocks, but you cannot place them uh, so that they are on the side like a flame trap. That's not going to work. However, these are like the equivalent of a pre-hard mode flame trap uh, that can be found throughout your world. They deal a lot less damage as you can see here. I had a lot of armor on and it only dealt about 4. Uh, I, I've had it deal in between 4 and 13 damage. However, when you don't have much armor on, I presume it will uh, it'll damage you a lot more. My guess would be around 30 to 40 damage. Of course, they can be hooked up to a timer so that they uh, turn on and off every one second, which of course leads them to the possibility of being used as a pre-hard mode, rain stick engine style uh, mob grinder, uh, and they have they have a good amount of possibilities available with these traps. So to test this theory, I have removed all the hard mode mobs from the mob farm and set up the geyser traps. Now, unfortunately, all the mobs cluster where the geyser traps aren't because of where I'm standing. That's just a fault on my part. That was just poor design. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the geyser traps work reasonably well on the mobs, dealing anywhere between 12 and 19 damage per hit on the mobs, and it's, it seems to be doing its job pretty well. So I hope you all have enjoyed watching this video. If you want to learn more about the Terraria 1.3.1 new items or learn how to set up this mob farm, I have a playlist in the description and you can learn all this new stuff from tutorials I have done so far. Anyway, like I said, thank you very much for watching everyone. Please subscribe, leave a like, comment, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.